we did this last time, we're going to do it again. Um, let's let's look at this line. Very first thing we can do. If you want to if you want to um, eliminate answers without really having to do any calculating at all to simplify it for you, we can first say what kind of slope do we have? And if you know slope at all, you'll know that that is a negative slope. Right? So if that's a negative slope, then anything with a positive slope can't be the answer. So it can't be B. It can't be D. Okay? Um, now both of these have a point going through negative 2 for X and 1 for Y. So negative 2 comma 1, negative 2 comma 1, that point right there. We know that they're both going through that point. So that's not really going to help us to eliminate which one is. So what we really need to do is we simply need to figure out what the slope is. Okay? And so we can go from one to the other. And if we do that, we rise negative two, negative two for the rise, run two, four, six, six for the run. So negative two over six simplifies to negative one over three. And which one has that? That C has that correct slope. So our answer is C. Okay.